Curling playing five. Fred Curley has done very well indeed with a slightly ungainly start. Has he got enough to, to come through here? Not a going well today on the inside, but Curley. Now back comes Haroon, really stretching. He's left it late here. Haroon coming back strongly. Has he done enough? Not quite. What an unbelievable race from Haroon. But Curley, all credit to him, the big Texan. He got his nose in front. He ran aggressively for the first 300 and then just backed himself to stay there. And he did well to back himself because Haroon, what on earth was he doing in the first stages of the race? In lane five, the leader though, if they come to 300 metres, it's Christian Taylor, can you believe? He's blasted for three, he gave them all something to chase. Smith and inside him dead awoke. One, two, three there. Lanes are six, five, and four. Very, very tight indeed though. 45.54. Curly, just one of a great bunch of talented Americans kicking around at the ball. Curly will be strong in the home straight. Does Hudson Smith have anything left in team? He's run a cracking bed and he's figuring here. And Gardner's gone again. Gardner's injury perhaps has come back. Fred Curly in the lead. Fred Curly might just about get this strong that gets second place. 44-8. And it was Fred Curley who came through for the win. And Curley now, surely, into the home straight with this race sewn up. Fred Curley now all about what the time is. Curley with an eye, a nice early season run out in the end, a comfortable win. 44-83. Well, Curley, I'm not sure what he'll make of that victory because Stephen Gardner was lost before the start, as was Akeem Bloomfield. And uh, well, McQuarla as well went, but Curley coming through. A nice early season's best for him, 44-81, and it's USA 1, 2, and 3, with Cherry in second, and Strober down in third. Well, Benaric got a fantastic start in uh, Eugene last weekend and finished very strongly as well, but he's got Curly for company already up on the shoulder. Koala with work to do, but here comes Benar. It tends to come good in the latter stages of the race. The two Americans well, well clear. It's lights out between the two silver medalists from the Olympic Games. It's going to go right down to the wire. Curly on this occasion may have got it. Curly from lane six perhaps has got revenge. And Curly has indeed stolen a march over Kenny Benaric, who's the man in form with the white headband, but Curly who took silver, remember, in the 100 metres in Tokyo. Great friends off the track. And this hugely versatile Fred Curley, who is part of that exclusive club, who've gone under 10 in the 100, under 20 in the 200, and 44 in the 400, has done brilliantly there for victory in this 200 metres. 1979, it's a lifetime best. Fred Curley, Tokyo Olympic silver medalist, still in great form. Good 
start there from Brumel, very quick out of the blocks, third from right, also going well is Mike Norman, third from left, second to left, and Norman leading the moment, Brumel's going backwards and it's very tight in the middle there, Curly taking it, Curly coming through over the last 30 metres or so, I think, it was really tight. Curly gets it. Fred Curley, well, what an astonishing talent he is. His lifetime best 9.84, that came in Tokyo and he took the silver medal. He's also run 19.7 for 243.6 for 400. from left, he's going well, brilliant start too though, from Ronnie Baker in lane four, Baker leading at the moment, are they going to come back at him, they're hunting him down, yes they are, Baker there I think finishing in third place, and it's Curly and De Graz in that order, one, two, nine, eight, seven, is quick, into a very slight headwind, had to work for it though, didn't they, wow, did they have to chase down Ronnie Baker, who I reckon probably led for 70, maybe 75 metres, but I think De Graz has been beaten there, Curly gets it, 9.87 to DeGrasse's 989, equaling his lifetime best, the Canadian. Brilliant run. And Ronnie Baker rewarded with a place on the roster of 9.91. Great racing and Bromel for 9.96. The first four going well under 10 seconds here tonight. So Fred Curly continues to show that he can choose his distances and he keeps getting asked time and time again 100 200 400 what are you going to do and he keeps saying i can win at them all